Hello, welcome. Today we are going to be looking at laws of chemical combination. When elements combine, how do they combine? What are the laws that govern their combination? And today we are going to be starting with the law of conservation of mass, which states that matter is neither created nor destroyed during chemical reactions, but can change from one form to the other. So the laws of chemical combination includes laws of convers conversation of mass, conservation of mass, laws of chem uh, definite proportion, and law of multiple proportions, as well as the law of reciprocal proportion. So we're going to go through these four laws. So number one, the law of conservation of mass states that matter is neither created nor destroyed during chemical reaction, but changes from one form to another. So in WAIC, in your jam or nickel, you are going to see this law stated and you are going to be asked which law is stated. Is it the law of conservation of mass or law of definite proportion or multiple or reciprocal? So whenever it is stated like this that matter is neither created nor destroyed during chemical reaction but changes from one form to the other, know that it is the law of conservation of mass. Now, the law of definite proportion states that all pure samples of a particular chemical compound contain similar elements combined in the same proportion by mass. That is the law of definite proportion. All pure samples of a particular chemical compound contain similar elements combined in the same proportion by mass. Now, we, are, we look at the law of multiple proportion. And the law of multiple proportion states that if two elements, A and B, combine to form more than one chemical compound, then the various masses of one element, A, which combine separately with the fixed mass of the other element, B, are in simple multiple ratio. This is fixed mass, please. There is mass here, I missed out on it. So please, take note of these are law of multiple proportion. It states that if two elements, A and B, combine to form more than one chemical compound, then the various masses of one element, A, which combine separately with a fixed mass of the other element B are in simple multiple ratio. So these are the three law of chemical combination. The last one is what we call the law of reciprocal proportion. So that is the fourth law of chemical composition, of chemical combination. And what does this law state? This law, the law of reciprocal proportion states that the masses of several elements, the masses of several elements, A, B, and C, the law of reciprocal proportion states that the masses of several elements, A, B, and C, which combine separately with a fixed mass of another element, D, is this are the same as or in simple ratio as in the masses in which A, B, and C combine uh, with one another. That is the law of reciprocal proportion. So if I'm going to clean this board, I'll be able to state this. The law of reciprocal proportion states that the masses of several elements A, B, and C which combine separately which combine separately with a fixed mass of another element D are the same as or in simple 
ratio as the masses A, B, and C combine with one another. And that is the law of reciprocal proportion. So those four laws are the laws of chemical combinations. And as a student that is going to write WIAC or JAMB or NICO, you're supposed to know these laws. You're supposed to know how to state them. And you're supposed to know how to pick them out whenever they are stated. And you are told to pick out the option that uh, rightly describes the statement that is made. Thank you.